In this video, we're going to work through problem 1 from Mat 12x Lesson 7 and use a calculator to come up with the same results that we did working the problems by hand. So I'm going to start with the first one, the square root of 81, and I'm going to use my calculator. So I'm looking for the square root button, which is above the x squared. So I need to press second, x squared, and then 81. Notice that the calculator, uh, if the calculator gives you a parentheses to start, you'll need to end the parentheses, but this one does not, so you can just hit enter. And we should get 9, which confirms what we got in the first one. Now let's look at the cube root of 27. To access the cube root, I need to press the math button on the left-hand side. And I'm going to be looking at number 4, which is the cube root. So I'm going to go down using my arrow keys. And notice in this case here, it gives us the cube root. I'm going to put in 27. And then I'm going to press Enter. And it should give me 3, which is what we got when we worked the problem by hand. Let's do the next one, square root of 16, and see what our calculator tells us. So again, to access the square root, I need the second, and then it's the x squared button. I'm going to enter negative 16 and press enter, and it tells me that it is a non-real answer, which is what we got when we looked at this one by hand. All right, let's do uh, quit is number one, so I'm just going to press enter. Now let me clear my screen here and do the next one, which is negative 125. So I'm going to put parentheses, negative 125. And then I'm going to use the exponent key. Then I'm going to use another set of parentheses to the 1 third power. So 1 divided by 3. And your calculator may look a little bit different, but if you press all those keys, you should be OK. And we get, indeed, negative 5, which is what we got the first time. Let's look at the next one, 25, exponent, and I'm going to go ahead and put parentheses, 3 divided by 2, end my parentheses, and then hit enter, and it should give me 25. So far we're on the right track. Now the next one, so to get to cube root, we're going to use second, oh, excuse me, no second, we just need math. And then it's number four, so I'm going to go down to number four, hit enter. And, ooh, what happened there? Let's clear that out, try again. So I'm going to go to math, number four, press enter, and, ooh, something is not right here. All right, now our screen is completely clear. So sometimes it happens, you just have to keep hitting clear. So math, number four, cube root. And now I need to put parentheses, negative eight. And then I need to square that, which is the x squared. And that should be it. I need to press enter. And I should get four, which is what I got before. Now the last thing I want to show you is if you have a root other than 3, let's say we had the fourth root of 64. I'd want to press 4, that would be my root, then go to math, and then I'd be looking for number 5, which means any root that we want to plug in the value for. So I'm going to press enter, and then I said the fourth root of 64, so there it is. I would press enter and it would give me my results even though it's not a whole number that's okay we would just round appropriately. So hopefully this will give you some insight into using your calculator to work with rational exponents and square roots and cube roots and things like that.